I could go on singing from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. I Could Go On Singing is a 1963 British-American musical drama film directed by Ronald Neem, starring Judy Garland in her final film role, and Dirk Bogard. Although not a huge box office success on release, it won Garland much praise for her performance. In Bogard's autobiographies and in the 2004 biography, it is recounted that Judy Garland's lines were substantially rewritten by Bogard, with Garland's consent. The film had its world premiere at the Plaza Theatre in London's West End on the 6th of March, 1963. Plot Jenny Bowman, Judy Garland, is a successful concert singer who regularly tours the world. During a stay in London, she visits recently widowed David Don, Dirk Bogard, a prominent ENT surgeon. It is revealed that over a decade ago, the two had an affair that led to the birth of Matt, who was raised alone by David under the impression he was adopted. Despite the fact Jenny and David came to an agreement that Matt would never know the truth, David takes Jenny to Matt's boarding school in Buckinghamshire so she may meet him just once. Jenny and Matt hit it off, and the three spend the whole day together. Jenny invites the two to her concert at the London Palladium, but David is unable to make it due to work in Rome. With David absent and under the impression Matt is back at school, Jenny and Matt spend a few days together exploring London. Jenny's manager and assistant try to cover for Matt by calling his school, but word about his absence gets back to David in Rome, who is furious. When David returns to London, he and Jenny have a row, during which Matt overhears that Jenny and David are his real parents. David implores Matt to remain in England and finish his schooling, while Jenny insists Matt should accompany her on her world tour. Confused, Matt rejects Jenny's invitations, and the two agree to see each other again sometime in the future. Jenny turns to a night of drinking in the town to cope with the heartbreak and ends up twisting her ankle. At a local clinic, she demands David come to treat her. When he arrives, she claims to be quitting singing as she is, quote, stretched too thin and everyone wants a bite, but David insists she cannot let herself down this way and tells her he loves her. At her concert that night, Jenny sings marvelously to the crowd. David leaves midway through her first number. Originally titled The Lonely Stage, it was renamed I Could Go On Singing so that audiences would know it was the first time Garland sang in a movie since A Star Is Born in 1954. The movie contains Garland concert musical numbers including By Myself, Hello Bluebird, It Never Was You, and the title song I Could Go On Singing. Cast Judy Garland as Jenny Bowman, Dirk Bogard as David Dunn, Jack Klugman as George Cogan, Gregory Phillips as Matt, Aileen McMahon as Ida, Pauline Jameson as Miss Plimpton, Jeremy Burnham as Hospital Surgeon, Lorna Luft as Girl on Boat, Joseph Luft as Boy on Boat, Leon Cortez as Busker. Music. All songs performed by Judy Garland. I Am the Monarch of the Sea, Judy Garland and Boys, from HMS Pinafore by Gilbert and Sullivan. Hello Bluebird, Words and Music by Cliff Friend. It Never Was You, Kurt Vile and Maxwell Anderson. By Myself, Arthur Schwartz, and Howard Dietz. I Could Go On Singing, Harold Arlen, and E.Y. Harburg. Film Reviews Quote, Either you are or you aren't, a Judy Garland fan, that is, and if you aren't, forget about her new movie, I Could Go On Singing, and leave the discussion to us devotees. You'll see her in close-up, in beautiful glowing technicolor, and striking staging in a vibrant, vital performance that gets to the essence of her mystique as a superb entertainer. Miss Garland is, as always, real, the voice throbbing, the eyes aglow, the delicate features yielding to the demands of the years, the legs still long and lovely. Certainly the role of a top-rank singer beset by the loneliness and emotional hungers of her personal life is not an alien one to her. End quote. Judith Christ, the New York Herald Tribune. Quote, Three stars, Judy Garland is back on screen in a role that might have been custom-tailored for her particular talents. A new song, I Could Go On Singing, provides her with a little clowning, a chance to be gay, a time for wistfulness, an occasion for tears. She and Dirk Bogard play wonderfully well together, even though the script itself insists on their being mismatched. End quote. Dorothy Masters, The New York Daily News. Soundtrack and video DVD releases. It was released on VHS in 1989 and on DVD in 2004. The soundtrack album was released at the time of the original movie release and appeared on CD in 2002, along with the Garland album That's Entertainment. In 2016, it was released on Blu-ray with a limited release from Twilight Time. This article was recorded on September 16, 2019.